The first time I heard the word Parsec was in the 1974 classic, Star Wars A New Hope. You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? Should I have? It's a ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. When I first heard that quote, I thought Parsec was a unit of time, like a second or a minute. However, as I started to learn more about physics and astronomy, I learned that parsec was actually a unit of distance. To be precise, a parsec is the distance light travels in 3.26 years, or in more everyday units, it's something like 31 trillion kilometers or 19 trillion miles. When studying the universe, it's very useful to have a unit like the parsec because distances between celestial objects are so great that units like kilometers and miles just aren't that helpful to us. Imagine trying to quantify the distance between the Earth and the Sun in centimeters, or the distance between the Milky Way galaxy and the Andromeda galaxy in miles. It just wouldn't really be that helpful. But how exactly did astronomers define a parsec? The technical definition is the distance at which one astronomical unit subtends an angle of one arc second. Let's try and understand what this means. Okay. So let's get into how astronomers defined a parsec exactly. Now I've written out the definition again, which is the distance at which an astronomical unit subtends an angle of one arc second. And let's go ahead and define what an astronomical unit and an arc second are. So an astronomical unit or an AU is just the mean distance between the earth and the sun. And I've written out what it is in kilometers there. And an arc second or arc sec for short is simply one over 3,600 of one degree. So you need 3600 arc seconds in one degree. If you recall, if you think to a circle, a circle has 360 degrees in it. So it has quite a bit of arc seconds in it as well. Now what I want to do is introduce this concept known as parallax. Parallax is going to be extremely useful when defining what a parsec is. So parallax is the phenomenon where a nearby object will appear to shift position with respect to more distant objects. One easy thing you can do is stick out your finger, hold it still, and then close one of your eyes. And then shift which eye you have open and which eye you have closed. And if you keep doing this, you'll notice that your finger appears to shift position relative to whatever is behind it. And this technique of parallax is a common technique in astronomy that is used to estimate distances to distant objects like stars. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you a picture that I've drawn here. And it's a picture of the Earth going around the sun and a star that is the star that we're going to be looking at in question. And how if we think about the Earth and how it orbits around um, the Sun in a year, if we take the Earth at its longest distance from each other, so six months apart from each other, so we're going from June to December here, and we can think about these two different points as sort of my eyes in the example where I did with the, with the finger, because it, we're changing our perspective um, to the star at different points of the year, and because there are farther more distant background stars, the star that is closer to us is going to appear to shift position. So I'm just going to draw some lines here to get our perspective or the, the distance between the Earth and the star uh, at different times of the year. I'm also going to draw the distance between the sun and that star. And it's not a perfect, it's not a perfect straight line, but it'll it'll do. And so let's define an angle P here. P as the parallax angle. So P we're going to say is the parallax angle parallax angle and let's call this part here D okay and this is just the distance between the Sun and the star but here is the here is sort of the punchline of what a parsec is so the parsec like we said before is if we go back to the definition the distance at which an astronomical unit subtends an angle of one arc second so here we have an astronomical unit and here is an angle that it's subtending between the star and the Earth. And the definition of, par of a parsec says at this uh, distance, this angle here, if it's one arc second, if P is one arc second, then D is defined to be a parsec. So let's just write that out. So if P equals one arc second, D 
is equal to 1 parsec. That's what it means. Essentially, if we think about parsec, p, so here's parsec, we can think of p as parallax angle, and then arcsec as arcsecond. So a parsec is, or the parallax angle is one arc second. One final thing that I want to address is how many astronomical units are in one parsec. Now, I'm gonna give you the answer and then I'm gonna show you how you derive it. So the answer to this question is there are 206, 265 AU, just about, in one parsec. And when I say just about, I mean the technical answer, it's 206, 265, 264.8, I believe, but 206, 265 is a number that is constantly drilled into our heads when we study astronomy. So I'm gonna show you how you get this number. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to draw the triangle here that we had between the Earth, uh, the Sun, and that star. So we had P for the parallax angle, we had D here for the distance, which was one parsec, um, and the example, and we have one AU down there. And so what are we gonna do here? Well, we know that, we know that uh, from trigonometry, that tangent of P is equal to opposite, is equal to one AU divided by D, okay? And I'm going to show you that when P, so when P equals one arc second, D is equal to 206, 265 AU. That's what we're gonna show. So let's use the small angle approximation. Small angle approximation. What that means is that tangent of theta is approximately sine of theta, which is approximately theta. And this is valid for theta that are less than, oh, let's say 10 degrees. And remember what we said, and one arc second is, or sorry, I should say that there are 3,600 arc seconds in one degree. So um, one arc second is definitely within the small angle approximation. And so we can do um, this thing where we're just going to make tangent of P equal to P, because that's just what the small angle approximation tells us to do. And this is equal to one AU divided by D. And now we set P equal to one arc second. Now, what I'm gonna do is actually I'm going to, before, I'm, before I do that actually, let me just rearrange this so we'll have D on the left and P on the right. So we'll have D is equal to one AU over P. Now the problem is that P is actually in unit, has units of arc second and we want to have something that doesn't have any units. We want a non-dimensional unit. Uh, and for an angle, a non-dimensional unit is a radian. So radians technically don't have any units and we want to keep this D here in units of astronomical unit. So what I'm gonna do here is convert one arc second into radians because it doesn't have any um, units in that case because you want to keep it in astronomical units. So how do we do that? So I said one arc second, there are 3,600 arc seconds in one degree. And if we recall, there are 360 degrees in a circle, but in radians, that is two pi radians. And so if we cancel out the units here, so arc seconds cancels out with arc seconds, degrees cancels out with degrees, we're going to be left with two pi over 3,600 times 360. In fractional form, it's gonna be pi over six, four, eight thousand. So pi over 648,000 and what, what that means is that we're going to have D is equal to one AU divided by pi over six or eight thousand. 
And if we just recall that if we divide by a fraction, we just get the, the reciprocal. It's equal to 6 or 648,000 divided by pi AU. And what is that? Let's just do the math here. 6, 4, 6, 4, 8, 0, 0, 0 divided by pi. And we get 206264.8, which will round up to 206265 astronomical units. Let me, let me draw that a little bit, a little bit better. At the beginning of this video, I told you guys that a parsec is also 3.26 light years. And what I want to do now is show you that result based on what we found with the relationship between parsecs and astronomical units. So what we want to do is we want to convert parsecs into light years. Okay. And we want to show that one parsec is going to be equal to 3.26 light years. So we're going to need to do a number of conversions. What I'm going to do is let's find what a light year is in kilometers. And also let's just put quote here. We're going to say the same exact thing. Parsec is in kilometers. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the um, we're going to take, we're going to figure out how many light years are in a parsec. Okay, so let's do that here. So one light year in kilometers. How do we figure out what that is? Well, we know that the speed of light is 299792 kilometers per second. I just have that memorized. And we want to figure out how many kilometers this is. So we need to multiply by a unit that has seconds. So how many seconds are there in a year? Well, we know there are 365 days. And in a year, I know technically there's 365.25. Um, but let's just go with 365. I don't think it will mess up the calculation at all. What we're gonna do now is we're going to need to figure out how many seconds there are in a day. Uh, thankfully, I just know that there are eight, 86,400 seconds in one day. That's just a number I've kept in the back of my mind. And you get this number by taking 24 hours in a day. And, or one way you can think about it is that there's 3,600 seconds in an hour and there's 24 hours in a day. So 3,600 times 24 gives you 86,400. Okay, so this will convert um, 365 days into seconds. So let's just do the math here. Let's just multiply this all out. 299792 times 365 times 86400. Okay, so we have here, we have that one light year in kilometers is 9.45 times 10 to the 12 kilometers. And what about a parsec? So one parsec in kilometers is what now? Well, we know that above I wrote down what an AU is in in kilometers, and we figured out there are 206265 AUs in a parsec. So why don't we go ahead and just use that fact? So so let's convert here. So one parsec is equal to 206265 astronomical units, but we know that in one astronomical unit there are 1.496 times 10 to the 8 kilometers. I just want to double check one more time. Let's go all the way back up. Yep, that's correct. And here we go. So let's cancel out the AUs. And what does this give us? We have 206265 times 1.496 times 10 to the 8. And this gives us 3.08 times 10 to the 13 kilometers. So finally, to calculate how many light years there are in a parsec, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this value, which is the distance of a parsec in kilometers, and this value, which is the distance of a light year in kilometers, and I'm going to take this number here and divide it by that number there. So we'll have 3.08 times 10 to the 13 kilometers divided by 
times 10 to the 12 kilometers. And what are we going to get? So we divide this by 9.45 times 10 to the 12 kilometers. And what do you know? We get 3.26. And so this tells us there are 3.26 light years in one parsec. Okay, there you go, guys. I hope you have learned a lot about what the parsec is from this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you thought about the video, and let me know what else you'd like to know about astronomy um, that I could possibly make a video about. So have a good one, everybody.